today I have 10 9.8 slab comics you can buy now for $100 and under. Good afternoon comic collectors, comic hunters, and comic readers, or good evening, or even good morning, depending on what part of the world you live in. Uh, I should have thought out that intro a little bit more. But whatever, how are you all doing today? I just want to give a big thank you to my returning viewers, and if you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching. I just want to start off by saying all my videos are geared towards making your money work best for you. I do my best to try and get you not to overpay, or even worst of all, get a case of FOMO in the fear of missing out. By watching my videos, you'll be surprised just how many people pay double or triple, if not more, of the going rate. And just keep in mind, when you are making a bigger purchase, research, check latest sold comics on eBay or any other app, make offers, negotiate, and also, if you are buying on eBay, hit that little red heart on the item you want to buy, and most of the time the dealer will give you some sort of discount offer. Now that we got that all out of the way, let's get into it. First comic today is an absolutely beautiful cover for Catwoman issue number 4. This is a variant cover with art by Art Germ. It's written by Joelle Jones by DC Comics. This is imagery related to Selina and Bruce's failed engagement hidden in the picture. Tears, a bat in her mask, a whip, cats, a broken heart, a great comic to have as wall art on your wall. This has a fair market value of $100. Up next is Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number 13. This is the first cover appearance of Billy Morales, and it's also the second printing with final interior page for the cover art. This is by artist Javier Guerron, is brought to you by Marvel, and the author is Saladin Ahmed. The cover A and some other variants were really popping at one point, with everything surrounding Miles and the Spider-Verse. Now Miles Morales Spider-Man, issue number 13. A 9.8 has been coming down, and since September of 2022, this has a fair market value of $90. Alright, this one caused a lot of drama when it first came out. Comic stores supposedly didn't order enough copies. Some news was coming out that some dirty stuff was going on. Like they were hanging on to them just to resell them higher. Because there was so much heat on this issue. I had my own issue like this. They were like, oh, we forgot to put this on your pull list. And oh, we forgot this was on your pull list. I'm talking Batman issue number 89. This has art by Tony S. Daniel. And it's written by James Tynan IV, and it's brought to you by DC Comics. This is the first cameo appearance of Punchline, and it's the first cameo appearance of the designer. This issue in Hell Arisen was the first time where I saw everyone come out of the woodwork, waiting in big lines, arguing with workers and everything. Batman issue number 89 has a fair market value of $100 at a 9.8. This one was all the rage when it came out. It has a second and third print, including Virgin covers, and it's on the top 10 list. I'm talking Amazing Spider-Man issue number 55. We have cover art by Patrick Gleason. It's written by Nick Spencer, and it's brought to you by Marvel Comics. Spider-Man issue number 55 at a 9.8 has a fair market value of $70. Up next is Brightest Day, issue number four, and we got David Finch and Scott Williams on the art, written by Jeff Johns. This is a DC Comics, and this is the first appearance of Jackson Hyde, the second Aqualad. In April of 2022, Charlize Theron was to adapt You Brought Me the Ocean graphic novel featuring Jackson Hyde for a TV series. This book is also the first cover appearance of Deathstorm, who is not in story. I've talked about this book recently, with James Gunn recently rolling out the list of DC shows and movies. I didn't see this on the list, so I don't know if it's still continuing or going to be a separate entity. With that, Brightest Day, issue number 4, a 9.8 over the past year, has had a fair market value of $98. This is the biggest, probably the most popular character on this list, and a movie is on the way. I'm talking X-Force issue number two, with art by Rob Liefeld and has writers Rob Liefeld and Fabian Nasiza. Brought to you by Marvel Comics, this is the second appearance of Deadpool. It's also the first appearance of Weapon X, Garrison Kane, a great book to grab for such a big character. Yes, there was about to be a million copies of this, but the second appearance of Deadpool, how can you go wrong with that? This also has a fair market value of $80. This one is for all the people who like to have sassy cover art for Sins of Sinister issue number one. This is a variant cover by Art Germ, and the author is Kieran Gillen, brought to you by Marvel Comics. A gorgeous cover of Emma Frost. This at a 9.8 has a fair market value of $69. Up next is a series I really enjoyed and I have the complete run. We got Oblivion Song issue number one. 
artist is Lorenzo De Felici, and the author is Robert Kirkman. It's brought to you by Image Comics. This is the first appearance of Nathan Cole. A decade ago, 300,000 citizens of Philadelphia were suddenly lost in oblivion. This last info or update on this was back in August of 2021 when we heard Jake Gyllenhaal was said to produce and star in the Universal film, and since then, it kind of seems in limbo. Recently, a fair market value 9.8 goat for this goes for $55. Venom issue number 9, written by Donny Cates. This is the first appearance of Dylan Brock, a really undervalued character in Marvel in my opinion. This is a variant cover art by Philip Tan. Store exclusives by Unknown Comics, I've been going after all these variants for Venom issue number 9, and just the other day, I grabbed a raw copy of the Bill Sankiewicz variant for $12. But this at a 9.8 has a fair market value of $55. Far Sector issue number one is the last book on the list. We have artist Jamal Campbell and author N.K. Jeminson. This is brought to you by DC Comics and it's the first appearance of Green Lantern, Joe Moline. And with the Green Lantern show coming to HBO, it might be a good time to grab this one for cheap. With a chance of this character possibly showing up. A 9.8 fair market value for this is $80. There you have it, 10 9.8 comics, $100 and under. If you like this video, smash that like, hit the subscribe, and especially if you're new to the channel, check out my playlist of the top 5 comics that were hot and now ice cold. Hopefully these videos will help you save a good chunk of change, and if you like new comics, check out my reviews each week. With that being said, I'm Will the Comic Bees, and I'll catch you next time. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless, I don't want to be one of the nameless, I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it, and I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations, don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story, I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory, yeah.